high their students to batten down, particularly in the phrase to batten down the hatches. Okay, this is a nautical term, which means you need to prepare the doors, the hatches that open in the deck, so that they're watertight, because there is a storm coming. Maybe you wonder what a batten is. Well, a batten is a long, thin, flat piece of wood that you use to cover something, to hold something in position. Okay, so to batten down the hatches, in a boat you batten down the hatches when there is a storm coming. But you can use this figurat figuratively as well, meaning prepare for trouble, prepare for problems. Okay, so batten down the hatches because there's a recession coming. Okay, um, when difficult times are ahead, you batten down the hatches. You prepare everything so that the least possible damage will take place. Okay, yeah, you batten down the hatches. You prepare for difficult times. Okay, or you just batten down. Okay, it's time to batten down and save some money because uh, it looks like the banks are lending less money and interest rates are going up. I don't know, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Anyway, note, to batten down is, I would say, a neutral verb, maybe even slightly formal. Yeah, or well, this phrase, batten down the hatches, probably goes a little bit more informal. As well, to batten is a regular verb, yeah? Okay, so batten, batten, batten. And um, to batten down, batten it down? No. You need to batten down, intransitive, or batten down the hatches, inseparable. Okay? Yeah, so maybe if you have to give a, give a speech with native speak to native listeners, you need to batten down the hatches and uh, prepare for difficult questions. I'm not sure that's such a good example, but anyway. Okay, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Batten down the hatches because hard times are on their way. You have to batten down.